Stop reporting. Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Wow, this is my third video for today. Wow. Anyway, I hope you are doing well. Megan and I are here while well, Megan's on a FaceTime audio call with me. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, let me just lock my screen on my iPad so the call doesn't go anywhere. Keypad there we go. selected. Um, so, guys, I want to talk button. about something Video. important Stein here Video. that Contacts. you guys might, call. You guys button. might call. want to uh, call. Selected. Take, into, uh, take into consideration here. And call. So, as you all know, <clears throat> we all have busy lives, right? So, um, when, let's just say if you got, like, let's just say if someone, like, let's just say if, uh, someone's watching this right now and you guys are, or let's just say if there's a bunch of people watching this or listening to this video right now and you got, and there's two people who are in a, in a relationship, you know, a guy and a girl, and you just can't find the time to talk to each other, right? You just, you're so busy between work or whatever you're doing. I got a solution for you. Make a schedule. Make a schedule for when you guys can talk. That is, making a schedule is like one of the best things you can do. Um, you know, because we all have busy lives and, you know, we all can't sit on our phones all day, right? Right. But if you make a schedule, because I hear so many people saying, well, I, I, you know, I, you know, just like a lot of my friends, like, oh, you know, like, I don't have time for her or I don't have time for him, you know, or whatever. It's true. But when you love that special someone, you got to make time for them. So, like, for example, let's use Megan and I, for example. Megan and I have a schedule. We have a really good schedule. By the way, can you hear me? Okay, I, yeah, I can hear. I just want to make sure she could she can hear me, you guys. So Megan and I have a schedule, a really good schedule. We FaceTime every night except for Wednesday nights and Friday nights because she works on Wednesday nights and Friday nights. So we FaceTime every night except for Wednesday nights and Friday nights. I FaceTime her at nine my time, and we uh, we 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 uh, get off FaceTime at twelve my time, and on Monday nights she uh, she uh, goes somewhere. So on Monday nights, she texts me when she texts me when she gets home from uh, from um, where she goes at, and she usually gets home at nine my time. So she texts me, and and she says I'm home. You know, you can Facetime me, or I text her and ask her, Are you home? And you know, she'll either say yes or no, and then when she's home, I Facetime her. So we have we have a really good schedule, but some people. Don't. So that's what I would suggest to everybody. Make a schedule about when you can talk. You want to say anything or? Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, here, but, uh, I, I, want, I just want to say like, um, yeah, like do, it, do what works. I mean, like Thomas, you said like that if I could, you know, if, if I, I said if you would text me, you know, when I got home just to make sure that it'd be, be good. And that's, you know, what, what usually should work. So, like, I get home about 8 and then we set up our FaceTime call and we just work it around each other and it, it works out, you know. I mean, if you can afford to set a schedule, do it. It's, it, really, it really works. And it doesn't have to be, like, 8 or 9 or 10 sharp, you know. And if, if you know, if the, if the other partner is, like, you know, it's 10, 8, 10 p.m. and you didn't call me yet. It's 10.01. Don't be demanding, you know? <laughs> right. You know, Thomas, I have a, a, a bunch of stuff to say about that. Don't be demanding. Right. Don't be a jerk. Right. Yeah, I mean, structure for, for – for, I can't speak for anyone else but myself, but structure – is very important for me and a routine is very important for me and a schedule is very important for me. But yeah, don't, don't, you know, don't, uh, if you guys do, if you guys do make a schedule, like Megan and I have a really good schedule for when we, uh, talk, you know, don't, don't, uh, yeah, don't, don't say like, um, it's nine o'clock or whatever time it's 11 o'clock. I don't know. Or it's eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Uh, you know, you haven't called me yet and you, you know, don't, don't do that. You know, but, uh, you know, to, pe to, to be precise is important, but if you're not, 
of course, it's not the end of the world. And yeah, don't, 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 you know, don't, uh, how do I put this? Um, don't just, uh, you know, if he or she is not right on nine o'clock or whatever the time you guys pick, you know, just, uh, just ask, are you ready yet? You know, um, that's what you could do that. You know, are you ready to FaceTime or are you ready to Skype or whatever, however you guys do it. So, yeah, that's another, that's another thing you can do. Right. Yep. Um, also, you need to be understanding if, like, I don't know, let's just say if you're a big FaceTimer, like me, you need to understand if your significant other has a lot of things to do, and if he or she can't FaceTime every night, you need to be understanding of that, right? So do it, do it, you know, do it when you guys can, you know. Um, also, I want to bring something out here. If you're sig- if it's a long distance relationship, and if your if your signi- if your significant other doesn't feel comfortable sleeping on Facetime, don't push that because that can that can ruin your relationship if you push. So you you need to be understanding of that that people need their 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 privacy at night. Yeah, it's fun to do it, you know, and it's fun to be together, you know, and sleep on Facetime. But if the other person doesn't feel comfortable doing it, or if the other person doesn't want to do it. Don't for don't just be you know just just don't uh, respect that, and it, yeah. So it's really important, in my opinion. You know, if you guys can't find the time, you know, you know, and everybody has busy schedules, you know, but if you can't find the time to talk to each other, sit down with that per, you know, talk to that person. And say, hey, why don't we make a schedule? You know, like I said, Megan and I, you know, we 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 um we Facetime every night except for Wednesday nights and Friday nights, and like I said, not to repeat myself, and like I said. On Monday nights, she has a she goes somewhere, and she gets home at nine my time, and you know I text her, and I say well she either texts me and lets me don't know that she's home, or I text her, and say are you home? And then if she's home, we Facetime. So the important thing is here is just just make a schedule, you know. Work work it out with each other and make a schedule because, uh, you know, I think that's uh, – you'll have a lot better success that way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yep. So there you go. Um, Anything else you want to say? Um, just be there for each other and, yeah. you know – Yeah. And you know, do 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 what can I do? Do my thing, because uh, relationship is a real thing. And, it is. You know, don't just, just be in it for yourself, but be in it for your for your other person as well. And don't yep. work it out. Don't don't force it. It'll be alright. You know, you'll 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 be able to to figure something out. And you know, take time with it. You know, yep, don't do the things. Nope, nope, nope. So yeah, no, Megan definitely. Uh, <laughs> Megan definitely brought up a good point. Um, Yes, she did. Um, So, yeah, and be there for each other. You know, uh, if you can't be there, you know, in in person, be there, you know, um, be there for each other, you know, um, uh, emotionally, I mean, you know, that's very important. Megan brought out a very good point or brought up a very good point, I should say. Yeah, be there for each other. It's very important to be there for each other when you're in a relationship with somebody. Um, also, if it's, I want to say this, if it's your first time, you know, if you've been in other relationships before and you're dating someone f- who who has never had either a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you need to really, really take it slow with them and ask them what they're comfortable with. Um, you know, ask them what they're not comfortable with. You need to stay in tune with how they're feeling and what they're feeling, and um, that's what I do with Megan. I always stay in tune because it's important to me, obviously, about how she feels. <laughs> so I always stay in tune with, with you know, you know, with with how she feels. So it's very important to to stay t- in tune with how your um part, you know, how your significant other is feeling, and take things slow. You know, if the person wants to take things slow, take things slow. You know, you have to. Um, otherwise you, you know, you might, you might lose that person and, uh, you know, you don't want to do that. 
So take things very slowly and yeah. <laughs> Yep. Um, so, so yeah. Yeah. It, it, you really need to respect the. F- no, really, you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, no, really, but in all, in all, in all seriousness, it's, it's very, it's very important to, to, uh, you know, I mean, I'm no, I'm no expert when it comes to relationships, but I've, I've written about relationships and I know a lot about relationships. Um, you know, so, I mean, like I said, I'm no expert when it comes to relationships, but I know a lot about relationships and it's really important to respect how your, uh, significant other is feeling and, and, you know, also, you know, if you're if you're uh, someone who lives with that significant other, and uh, you know, let's just say if you're a guy and your buddies want to go out to the bar one night after work or whatever, and your girlfriend really or your wife really just wants a night with you, don't go out with your buddies. Go home and be with her, because you know what? If Megan and I live together here in Connecticut. I, you know, I, unfortunately, I don't, I mean, I don't have sighted friends who, like, I have sighted friends, but I don't, like, it's not like I go to the bar with my buddies. I, I don't have anybody to go to the, to the bar with, but I'm just saying, like, if I had buddies who I could go to the bar with, like, after work or whatever, you know, if I worked, I, and Megan, just, you know, I would rather, much rather go home and spend time with her. Yes, I, you know, if my buddies ask, hey, you want to go out for a few drinks tonight? I'd be like, I would make an, ex- like, I, I, I would make an excuse. Like, I would probably say, oh, no, I'm busy tonight, you know. Or I'd probably just tell the truth and say, no, I just want to go home and have a, you know, a night with, uh, with Megan, you know. And so that's what I would do, you know. I would much rather go home and spend time with her than go out to the bar with my buddies. So if there's a, if there's a night where you're, uh, you know, your girlfriend or your wife wants to spend time with you and you feel like going out with your buddies. Well, I understand that, but, you know, it's it's really important to, uh, you know, to, to not uh, blow your girlfriend off. I mean, yeah, of course it's, you know, it's it's fun to have guys night out, right? And, and you know, for the girls, it's fun to have girls night out. But don't make a habit of uh, neglecting your significant other is what I'm really trying to say here, you know? Don't put your buddies first. Your 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 significant other always comes before your friends. So, you know, that's that's that. That's another thing I wanted to 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 talk about is uh hey, if you're one if your girlfriend or or if your wife or if your boyfriend or if your husband wants to spend that time with you, you know what? Go home and spend the time with them. Spend time with them rather than go to the bar with your buddies. So, yeah. Anything you want to say on that one? <laughs> oh, well, just, you know, what, what Tom is just saying, essentially, don't get drunk and, and, and cheat on another person. Go with your life, guys. Come on. Or go with your husband, ladies, you know? Go, go, or go with your boyfriend. Or go to where he is. I don't know. Like, your, your spouse. I, I think you're talking about marriage and stuff. But if you, if you have a boyfriend, like, go and spend time with him and, you know, and, and be with him the most, you know? And, you know, because he's important. Um, this, is, this is a big subject for a lot of people. And it, it gets personal. But um, it's just important to have common sense. If you love that person... You'll just you'll love them. It'll come naturally to you. Well, I'm not I'm not I'm not necessarily talking. I mean, I'm not necessarily talking about marriage. What I'm really talking about is, is you know, don't blow off your significant other. You know, don't don't uh, don't choose your buddies over your you know over your significant other. You know, because 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 honestly, that can ruin your relationship, and so. Um, you know, of course, like I said, it's nice to have a night out, but hey, if your girlfriend or your wife or your husband or your boyfriend really wants to spend time with you, then you know what? Go home and spend time with them. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, 
I want to thank everybody for watching or listening. Uh, I want to just recommend a few YouTube channels here before Megan and I go. I want to recommend her channel. It's called Going Up. Please subscribe to it. She does awesome videos. And Nikki Wonderlick's channel, please subscribe to that. Um, and, of course, please subscribe to my channel. And please give this video a like and a thumbs up. And um, Megan and Meg, Megan and in hmm, that's interesting. Megan, I meant to say, not Megan and in. in. <laughs> uh, I meant to say that tomorrow night, me and Megan, Megan and I will be back with with another video. So for now, you guys take care. Oh, and by the way, Megan's birthday is on the twentieth of November. She told me that tonight. Now I'm not going to tell you guys how old she's going to be, but I will say that because uh, she she she's you know. She's very young, you know, and and I'm not gonna, I'm not I'm not gonna divulge how old she is, uh, you know. I mean, she says she's, you know, and younger than one hundred. I'll just put it that I'll just I'll just put it this way: I'm twenty seven, and she's a few years older than me. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so anyway, I have a very special gift coming up for her for her special her, for her special day i'm going to be singing her happy birthday right here on this channel on that tuesday night because her birthday falls on a tuesday night hooray really? no, I knew that already. You to me, but I knew that already. well i wasn't trying to surprise you but oh you weren't okay i wasn't trying to uh i wasn't trying to surprise you but i did tell you that uh on thursday night so that is going to be that is going to be my beautiful girlfriend Megan's gift. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Yeah. So you guys take care and oh, one more YouTube channel I forgot to re recommend: Depression to Expression for people who have mental illness. Uh, this is the channel for you. So uh, the guy who d does the, the the videos, his name is Scott. He lives in Toronto, Canada. He is really good. He he talks about things like depression, how to cope with it, how co how to cope with anxiety, how to cope with panic attacks, and he talks about many other things, many other awesome things. Um, and um, he 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 really helped me out a lot when I was going through what I was going through in terms of my anxiety and my de no not my depression. What am I saying? My anxiety and my panic attacks. You know, so please check out his channel. It's an awesome channel for people who have mental illness. So y'all take care.